Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Tuesday, January the 4th, 2022. Sorry about my voice, I'm sick. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Virgo? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. Will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck. For Virgo. Spirit. Bone of the deck, Ace of Wands, a passion, a new beginning. First card out. The Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See her purse? It's also got this beautiful crown of white and black roses. This is going to work, making your money. What is crossing this? The Empress, Libra and Taurus energy, the Empress. The Empress is self-sufficient, independent. Um, she's sitting in her throne. She's sitting in her power. She knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. She knows her worth. She's always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Also new ideas for hobbies, uh, making money. The Empress, she's got this scepter and this fan. She is self-sufficient. Consciously known. Ace of Cups, new love. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. I see the hearts. There's also a dragonfly here. This is talking about new love. Unconscious. Six of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I like the skull pendulum. This is talking about wanting equal give and take in a relationship. Recent past. The temperance. Sagittarius energy. She's pouring water from one cup into another cup. She's got this gorgeous dress that I absolutely love. This is divine timing. Having patience. Trusting that Source Spirit Universe will give you what you need at the proper time. Near future. The Hierophant. Commitment. The Hierophant talks about order, tradition, stability. Increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Engagement. Marriage. I like the spirit board. Where do you find yourself? The lovers, Gemini energy, the lovers. I like this lovers card because there are only two people in this card. There is a commitment lockbox in the middle of them. There's also the toothbrush or key with wings. This is soulmate energy, divine counterparts. External influences. Ooh, toxic behavior. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex. I do not like this energy, and this card has come out three times tonight. Hopes and or fears. Five of Cups, River of Tears. Five of Cups looks like someone broke your heart, and if it was this toxic energy, I could see why. Um, this is sadness, depression, pessimism. You are looking at those three spilled cups. But there's always behind you the two cups of soulmate energy. You just got to turn around. Get over it and turn around. I know it's easier said than done. But when you got soulmate energy coming in and you got new love, uh, overall outcome... Five, two, three fives in a row. 
This is the Five of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is fighting, arguing, drama. It's kind of like, I just realized this yesterday or the day before, that this could be gaslighting. He's lighting this match. On the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a new passionate beginning. This could be uh, a new something you're passionate about, a new hobby, a new job, ways to make money. Also, this could be a person, wand, male or female. Soulmates, two of cups. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. This is not this uh, toxic energy. There's hearts for eyes and nose. The water is spilling from his cup into her cup. I love that imagery. Bright red hearts shining through the rib cage. Soulmates, divine counterparts. The tower. This crashed and burned, didn't it? The tower, Scorpio energy. This talks about uh, cataclysmic change. Source, spirit, universe have struck down this tower because it was not built on a firm foundation. Once the tower has fa fallen, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. This is all this toxic heartbreak drama. And then we got the king of swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the... Also, my call my ice king. You need to give the king of swords honest, clear communication, or he will use this sword and cut you right out of his life. He makes head over heart decisions. Although, if you are honest and clear with the king of swords, he will be very loving and very loyal. And three of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It talks about kind of waiting for your ships to come in, um, waiting for something or someone. We had going to work, making your money, divine feminine, new love. You want equal give and take in a relationship. Uh, well, no kidding. If you're looking for equal give and take, you don't want this toxic energy. Divine timing, commitment, lovers, a new passionate beginning, soulmates, king of swords, and waiting for something or someone. And the next card, which I would just want to pull, is a new beginning, new beginning, which we have seen through this read. There was some toxic energy here. Somebody was toxic. Got your heart broken. All this person brought was drama, drama into your life. And the tower fell. Now you have to rebuild. But things are going to be built on a solid foundation this time. Exchanging gifts. Exchanging gifts. Do you have a birthday? No, you can't have a birthday coming up. Anniversary, maybe. I got this card a lot in December for uh, Christmas gift. Christmas gifts. Not your birthday. Next. Not for you. This shit is not for you. It's true. Round and round. Yep. Karmic cycle. Karmic cycle. It's over now. And you're moving on. New love. The lovers. A new passion beginning. The fool. I don't usually pull an extra card, but I wanted to show you. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. Yes. Toxic behavior, addictions. I don't think that's you. I think that's the other person. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. 
I always think that's a good thing. We always have to forgive. Forgive everybody. It helps. Forgiving other people is all about forgive for uh, getting rid of those um, bad feelings. We we don't need to carry them. We don't need to carry them on. We need to get over them. I know it's hard, but love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes. Cutting this shit out of your life is the best thing. The death, not surprised this showed up. Scorpio energy, the death. This talks about the end of a painful cycle and rebirth. Like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. All I see, yeah, there's a lot of endings here. But there's also a lot of beginnings. And on the bottom of the deck, the lovers again. The lovers. I think that there may have been third party here. Move on. You deserve better. I know it's easy to say. Money. The Empress. Divine Feminine. New Love. Equal Give and Take. The Temperance. Divine Timing. Commitment. The Lovers. Twice. A New Passionate Beginning. Soulmate Energy. King of Swords. Waiting for something or someone. And The Fool. The Start of a Beautiful New Journey. Exchanging gifts, not for you, round and round. End this karmic cycle. Codependency, healing family issues, love yourself first. Death and rebirth. And the lovers. I think the toxic behavior came out three times tonight. All right, Virgo, have a great evening. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.